Hi, welcome to today's QG tutorial lesson 8. In this video, we we'll learn how to download DEM data and use it in QGIS 3.14. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so so that you can get a notification when I upload the next lesson. If you are new to my channel, you can follow all my previous lessons from the links in the description below. Let's get started. So, we are going to learn how to download DEM data. So what is DEM? Digital elevation model is a specialized database that represents the relief of a surface between points of known elevation. So how can we use DEM? We can use DEM to, by, to generate contours, uh, hill slope hydrology, erosion and drainage analysis, watershed and groundwater flow, engineering and structural design, and also flight simulation. Two ways of downloading DM easily is by open topography and using a plugin in QGIS called the SRTM downloader. So we're going to cover both ways of downloading DM data. So let's start by how to download data using the open topography. We're going to go to our browser, open, open a new tab, and then you're going to just type on the search button there, open topography, .org. Then you're going to click on enter. And it will take us to the home page of the open topography. So we want to download the DEM data. We will go to the data tab. There is the home tab and then the data tab. And we want to get this data from catalog. So we're going to select from data catalogs. And then a new tab appears and the, under the new tab is the OT high resolution topography the OT community contribu contributed USGS 3 DEP and then there is the global data and you can see there are three files in the in the global data so I'm going to select the global data and it will get us three different kinds of uh, raster data that you're going to use. Now we are interested in the SRTM, which is the Shutter Radar Topography Mission SRTM, and they are also in three categories here. So there is the SRTM GL3, SRTM GL1, SRTM GL ellipsoidal. So let's look at SRTM GL3 first and read the description. So I'm going to click on that so that I can read the description about the SRTM GL3. And you can see this is global 90 meter resolution and has so much information down here that you can read on your own to better understand what this data is all about. This is 90 meter resolution, but I want a bit of a more accurate data. So let me look at the now the SRTM GLT1 and see what it has. So I'll go to SRTM GL1 now, select that. And you can see this is SRTM GL1, which is global which is 30, 30 meter resolution. So I'm going to select this and use it in my, in my, my analysis to download my first data, DEM data. So once you select the SRTM GL1, which is global 30 meter resolution, just scroll down. And the first step you do, which is select the area of the data to process. So I'm going to select the, the area of the data that you want to process. You can select any region in the world. So you can first of all zoom in. Let me just zoom in, zoom into an area. Maybe say I'm looking for let me go to Ethiopia. So I'll zoom into Ethiopia. And I want to zoom in and see maybe a region which is within the Great Rift Valley. Or where there is some mountain, some of a sort. So I think I'm going to select this region here. You can see they have very many rivers. So after I have ascertained that this is the region I want to get the DEM, I come and click on Select Region. Then it will change the cursor, and I can just select the region that I want to download there, the DEM data. So I select that. The bigger the extent, the bigger your the data will be so you can see for mine i have downloaded uh, the selection area is approximately 70000 kilometers square 
So I'll just go down. You can also manually enter coordinates if you want, but we're not going to enter the coordinates manually. We're just going to use the ones that we have selected from the canvas. Then the output data format is a GOT. I'm going to leave it at that. Then visualization. You can decide to check these boxes if you want. You can ch check these and these, but it will make it uh, take a longer time to give you the data. But you can, for just for visualization, you can check the two, but I will not check them for now. Then hydrological terrain product, I'll leave it the way it is. I just read the information and leave it. Global solar irradiation, I'll leave it at that. Then down here, they'll tell you to enter your job description. So for my job description, I'm going to just say GIS, GIS analysts, or anything. You can write anything, analyst. The job description, I just say GIS. My email address, which is this. Then I'll click on submit. And it will take me to another tab. So thank you for the submission for your job. And then you just wait, it is querying. You can see here it is querying and extracting the SRTM raster data for your area of interest. So you just wait for a few minutes. And you can see it has already queried. And you can see here. It is actually trying to download my data here. This is where I'm going to be able to download the data from. So just give it a few minutes as it queries all my data. And you can see now download job results are here. You can see I have a raster srtm.r which is 77 MB. And this is the visualization now when we talk about visualization how is it going to to, to look like uh in your in your map canvas and that's how it's gonna be looking like so i'm going to download now the raster tab this one the srtm result so i'm going to download this very small file 7, 7 777 mp so i'm going to look for where to 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 save my data i'm going to go to my gis folder which is on the desktop uh, GIS data. Now we're dealing with raster data, so I'm going to create a new folder and call it raster data. Then within the folder, I'm also going to create another new folder and because we're going to be, we'll be working with different kinds of uh, raster data, so I'm going to just call this DM. And then I'm going to save this as dm so i can leave it at that or i can change it to ethiopian raster dm because i'm dealing with ethiopia so then i just download it and depending on the how fast your internet is this is pretty much straightforward and to just download it very quickly Perfect. The so download is completed, so I'm going to open the folder. And it's a zip file, so I'm going to extract it. And now I can open the folder and I have my output SRTM data here. So that is how you download SRTM from Open Topography. So now we want to load our, our raster data, that is the SRTM data into QGIS. So we're going to first start by creating a new project. By clicking, we are going to create a new project and we'll create a new blank project here. And then we are going to load the layer. Now it's a raster layer, it's no longer a vector layer. So we're going to layer, add layer, and now we are adding a raster layer we're going to select add raster layer and then you're going to browse for where our raster layer is it's under file so we're going to browse for where our raster data is and it's on the desktop gis folder the data folder and we have uh, we have the uh, raster data and then there is the dem and now we'll go to the folder which has the 
repetitive file you can either just load it directly or, or you can just change it if you have so many other kinds of files you can just customize it here you can see there are very many there are very many file extensions here so these are geotiff and i can even just select geotiff and customize it to geotiff and then select the the file then i'm going to add it in qgis but give it a few minutes as it has loaded here and then i click on close and this is our data you can see very nicely there's a river passing here and the other gray areas so the darker areas represent the lower areas and the lighter areas represents the higher areas this is the elevation of the different regions in this so that's one way of now downloading the srtm data in in using open topography